As things stand, the middle class is currently unable to reach replacement fertility. Now, what does this mean? Take a look at this graph. You'll see that all the people are making less than $25,000 a year. They are all having more than two and a half kids, which is essentially replacement fertility. So they're having families that are going to propagate dire class in the future. Once people start to make over $25,000 a year, you notice that their fertility nose dives. They have to go to work and they can't spend their time at home all day making love, making babies. Now, this fertility remains bottomed out. They're not having enough kids to perpetuate their class, their people, their tribe, if you will. There's not enough ki kids coming out. There's like, you know, half a kid or a kid coming out of these people. This remains this way until the entire household income reaches $300,000. And then, only then, does it just start to nod over replacement. This means that all these families who have a standard middle-class income of anything between $50,000 to $100,000 to $250,000. These families are going sterile. They're dying out. I simply cannot see how these conditions will not lead to an extremely serious and large mass revolution. Because all the productive and creative people who are putting their work into making society run are getting punished for it, are getting sterilized. Think about this, the only people who are going to make it because they are the fertile demographics are the high and the low, the rich 5%, even the rich 1%, and the parasitical welfare caste underneath everything. Both of these completely rely upon the productive labor of the middle class. The bottom harvest taxes off the middle class, so they don't have to work. This is why when you're making less than 25,000 a year, for some reason you have more fertility because they get paid, they get funded to watch TV all day and pretend they're on welfare and pretend they have a sore knee or something like this so that they can breed loads of kids. And the more kids they breed, the more money they get. Now, of course, there's always caveats with this because some people need welfare for completely justified reasons, but there's definitely a lot of people that are using it parasitically. And this is the same situation with the rich. There are certainly some people who are very hardworking, talented, organized, and they build businesses and they end up getting paid more than $300,000 a year and they can, you know, have a really big family as a consequence. Great for them. They become self-made millionaires. But there's a huge amount of people who are rich who are in high finance, in the system of exploitation where they are manipulating numbers and abstractions in order to extract value out of things without actually putting out any productive labor. And these people also fleece the middle class. This is literally a situation where you must get rich or you will die trying. You will not have a future unless you make enough wealth. This is a scary situation to be in. If you fall short, if you're only making 200K a year, you'll be a part of the productive middle class and you'll certainly be doing all of the labor and all of the work, but you will be too stressed. Your wife might have to go out and work as well or something like this. There'll be this stress in the air, this slight fear about the future. You won't have enough time. It won't make for a romantic environment. And if you have one kid, it will be such a burden to actually get that kid organized that you won't even want to have a second one. And this is how the sterility works. It happens in all these small little wounds and cuts, this very, very tentative exploitation. I don't see how this doesn't turn into something crazy. This is exactly what the naughty regimes from the 20th century utilized in order to gain power. They realized that the middle class felt exploited and they spoke to them and said that we will give you a national identity and help you fight against the overclass and help you fight against the parasites and the underclass and give you this block of power in the middle. And there's going to come to a point where the people's primal instincts will begin to gnaw at them and say, you're sterile you don't have a future and people will have nothing to lose at this point. They are literally being exploited into sterility.